What's going on, Cancer? It's your girl, D here with 8th House Energy, and I'm here to bring you your October 2021 AB reading. Uh, I hope all is well in the Cancerian community. For those of you who are already part of the 8th House Energy community, thank you for the continued love and support that you guys always show. You show up every time for the videos, and I appreciate you guys for all the ways that you support the channel. For those of you... <coughs> Excuse me. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you'll subscribe and hit the notification bell. I got a variety of readings here that I post for you at least once a week. So make sure you check them out. All right. And this is the AB reading. So this is a reading about you and your person. Okay. Uh, I'm going to talk about the feelings or the dynamics between you and this person. It could be a lover. It could be a family member. It could be a business partner or it could be anybody. Uh, but there, I'm going to talk about the dynamics between you and this person. Uh, you're going to decide if you're person A or if you're person B. Now, keep in mind, because this is a collective reading, um, you may resonate with person A in the beginning, and then you may start resonating with person B or vice versa. Just take what resonates, leave the rest. You know, don't let this type of reading confuse you because I'm reading for a collective audience. What you want to focus on with this reading is the incidents that happened. Okay, and then you can switch the roles accordingly. That'll help you to make sense of it. This is a reading that is going to help you to use your intuition. So for those of you who are kind of lazy and you like the readers that don't challenge your intuition, you know, they just tell you everything. You may not enjoy this reading. And that happens a lot with people with this A-B reading because it makes you use your intuition. It makes you work. So, you know, just keep in mind for those of you who are new, this is a channel here for people who are here for spiritual growth. So, you know, if this is not the type of reading for you or you're just not interested in spiritual growth, then you, you won't like this reading. So, <laughs> we'll just put it that way. But uh, I digress. Let's get into the reading here. So, let's get four cards off of person A and then we will begin. I hope all is well with everybody. These energies have been really intense this month we've had a lot of planetary changes going on and we still have more to come uh, we just got out of uh, pluto saturn and uh, jupiter just went direct this month as well as the new moon in libra which set off a lot of karmic changes people you know getting karma getting their karma all of us getting our karma good bad or indifferent so you know we got a lot of hostilities now we got the full moon in aries coming up tomorrow and then on the 22nd Mars is squaring Pluto, which is a very intense, powerful energy. So, um, you know, take a look at the community tab if you're into that. For those of you who are new to the channel, I deal heavily in astrology. So, you know, again, if you're not interested in learning about yourself or you're not interested in astrology at all, this is not going to be the channel for you. So let's move on. Let's get to the people who uh, are here for the message. So the King of Wands in reverse came out. For Leo, Leo energy. This is for person A we're talking about right now, okay? So the overall energy for person A is the king of wands energy in reverse. Now, the, this king of wands energy, it can be um, uh, a myriad of things, uh, energies. Uh, this could be somebody who is uh, a coward, okay? Because when I think about Leo, you think about Leo. Leo rules the heart. Leo is about courage, all right? Your fire, your creativity, that um, the heart right so when it's in reverse sometimes the king of wands he's somebody who doesn't have heart he doesn't have courage it's like the lion who doesn't have a heart the wizard of oz that could be the king of wands in reverse this could also be somebody who's very uh somebody who's uh hot tempered okay somebody who's quick to act who could be quick to be violent all right this could be a womanizer uh this could be somebody who uh on another level, this could be somebody who is a uh, bisexual or a member of the LGBT community. But let's see what this King of Wands is, is uh, what energies they're emitting based on what we have here. So we have the Seven of Cups, which is, uh, damn, the Seven of Cups has been coming out a lot. And that's because Venus just left Scorpio, because this is Venus and Scorpio. Venus is now in Sagittarius, and it went in this month, like the 6th or the 7th. So like I said, we're dealing with a lot of energies changing up this month. We have the Six of Coins. The Six of Coin is Taurus energy. Okay. We have the Temperance, Major Arcana of Temperance. It came out in reverse. And that's Sagittarius energy. And then we have the Major Arcana of Uranus, which is the Fool. Okay. So Person A, the way they're looking at Person B right now. Um, 
or okay how this is going is person b is looking at person b is like okay i'm confused you know person b is confused they're looking at person a like yo i don't i don't understand what's going on you know I, i'm trying to make things fair how can i make things fair how can i make it so that it's equal give and take or how can i have my cake and eat it too one or the other okay so this is how person A is perceiving person B. So the actions person A is taking as a result of that is temperance energy and reversing the fool. They, they're they pumping the brakes. So person A is pumping their brakes with person B. Like, yo, I don't know if I want to deal with, you know. I don't know if I want to deal with that. There, there's an imbalance here. Things are not fair. Okay. Let's look at person B and then we're going to clarify all of this stuff. So the, the story will start coming to, let's just, you know, set the... Uh, the framework for it here so for person b we have the nine of pentacles this is a virgo energy so you know this is an energy of somebody who's financially stable financially independent somebody who uh could work for themselves this is somebody who values themselves they you know they 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 see their value and their worth and they don't allow themselves to participate in scenarios or situations that uh will put them in a position where, you know, they're being treated, they're not being treated the way they deserve to be treated. Then we have the uh, Queen of Swords, which is Libra energy. The Major Arcana of the World card in reverse, Saturn energy. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. And we have the Knight of Cups, which is Pisces. So... The way person B is being viewed, let's see. Somebody, uh, I feel like they're threatening that they want clarity. I feel like somebody wants clarity. It's like, if you don't give me the truth, if you don't let me know what's going on, then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I feel like person B here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Person B is like, I feel like they're sizing the situation up here. Like, okay, one person is the Queen, the other person is the Knight. So it's an unbalanced situation here. We have a level of, of, of uh, breakdown and in, in, in evenly yoked energy here. Is what I'm feeling here. Somebody wants, uh, somebody may want an apology. Somebody could be looking for an apology. Somebody could be looking to see where things could go in reference to wanting stability, but they're dealing with somebody who's not going to give them that. Because we got the Knight of Cups here and the King of Wands in reverse. That, to me, does not talk about a person wanting stability. This is somebody who wants to have their cake and eat it, too. Somebody is questioning, hey, is they, are they dealing with somebody else? Is what I'm feeling here. Person, um, person uh, A, like person B is looking at person A, like are, is person A dealing with someone else? And somebody wants the truth. Let's get into this. So, seven of cups. Wow, temperance flew out in reverse. And we already got temperance here. So double time. Temperance is in reverse. So temperance is Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius deals with your, your views, you know, your philosophy on life, the way you go about doing things, your religious or spiritual views, your higher mind. OK, and so when this is in reverse, this is telling me that somebody's looking at the situation like, OK, we're not evenly yoked. You want one thing and I want something else. Clarify the six of coin energy here. Yeah, we have the star card, Major Arcana of Aquarius. Let's get clarity on these uh, Major Arcanas. What's Temperance in Reverse? Wow. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Let's get clarity on this wheel. All right, so this is definitely a change in this relationship. Major changes going on is, wow, justice. I don't like to leave Major Arcanas unclarified, so we just got to keep clarifying, but they keep popping out. Okay, Four of Cups. Thank you. Now let's clarify this star and we'll see what's up with person A here.
Okay, we got the knight. Yeah, see, there's, there's, there's a, we'll get to it in a second. What's this temperance below here? Ooh, I flew all the way over there. Five of wands, five of pentacles. And then what fell out was, ooh, the hermit and death energy fell out for the fool. Let's clarify those and we'll get into this with person A. Okay, thank you. Seven of Cups. So, yeah, we got the King of Wands energy over here. So this is how person A could be feeling about person B. Person A is looking at them like, you know what? I don't know if you're dealing with me and, and somebody else. I feel like you are because your behavior and your actions are really weird. You know, we've been in this cycle for a minute here. And, you know, I want what's right and I want what's fair because I'm not happy in this situation. All right. And that's represented with the Seven of Cups. Temperance energy in reverse, the wheel of fortune in reverse, the justice, and the four of cups. So yeah, that's the way person A is looking at person B. It's like, yo, you're juggling someone else? I want to move forward with you, but I don't feel that you're being honest with me. Okay? This is what uh, person A is feeling about person B. All right. So the actions person A is taking as a result of feeling that way is they look at this as this is an imbalanced situation. It's not fair. You know, the way you see things is not the way I see things, you know, because Sagittarius deals with your your viewpoint in life, your philosophy in life. Right. So we got two different philosophies here. So as a result, with the five of pentacles, I got to be out. You know, we have two different philosophies here. I jumped into something that, you know, wasn't for me with the Uranus energy in reverse. And so with the hermit energy in reverse here, we've tried to fix this and it's just not working. You know, with the death energy in reverse, I want to bring an end to this situation. And with the seven of cups here in reverse, it's because I see things for what they are. There's no need for me to deal with this anymore. That's how person A is looking at the situation. Let's look at how person B is looking at this. Let me get the extended here. So person B, the way they're looking at person A is, you know... They want to keep things going. They want to, um, I feel like they want to be honest. They do want to communicate with this Queen of Swords and with the world energy in reverse. Because they don't want things to end. Clarify this Queen of Swords. Clarify this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is clarified with the Three of Swords. Yeah, see, they want to be truthful about... Uh, what's what's blocking them that third party energy it could be anything but it could be another person and then with the world energy in reverse here in the fool yeah see person b they want a new beginning they want to start over but person a is like the fool in reverse like nah i don't want to rekindle this i don't want to keep going with this we've done this shit before and it's over <laughs> it's over and um you know i see things clearly now you know or i can't get clarity so i'm gonna leave it be so clarify this fool for uh, person B because they want to start over. Yeah, we got the nine of swords. They're anxious about it. This is what they're thinking about. They're like, okay, how can I get person A to start over with me? So the actions person B is taking, we got the queen of pentacles and the knight of cups. Clarify this queen of pentacles. They do want stability with this person, I believe. Yeah, we have it clarified with the ten of wands. It could be, okay, wait, there's two women over here. Person B got two people. And they've been running back and forth between two people. That's one too many cards that fell. Clarify this Knight of Cups. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. The King of Wands. Upright. So, yeah. Person B's got two different individuals here that they they got to choose from. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. All right? Or this is one person here saying, look, I need the truth if I'm going to continue to, you know, because... The Queen of Pentacles represents stability. That represents the fact that I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to be here with you. But with the Ten of Wands clarifying that, somebody's like, yo, I'm not going to, this is not going to go on anymore. I've rocked with you long enough. I'm not going to continue to do that, is what this person is saying here. Yeah, because Person B now is anxious because they know Person A is like, look, I'm, I'm not dealing with you and somebody else. We're not doing that. And you need to be upfront and honest with me about it in order for us to move forward with the star card and the knight of swords in reverse. If you can't be honest with what's going on, or if you can't leave this other person, we can't move forward. That's basically what person um, B is being told. So 
So, person A here, we have the King of Wands energy in reverse. The High Priestess energy, Major Arcana of Pisces. The Moon energy in reverse, Double Pisces energy. And the Page of Swords. Along with the Three of Cups. Okay. So, what person B, I'm sorry, what person A is looking at is like, you know what? I'm afraid to move forward with you. Uh, because I can't see what's going on. I don't know what you're hiding. You're hiding something. All right. Or you could be hiding me. Because the high priestess could represent, you know, with the king of wands and then the high priestess, the king of wands in reverse. This could be the king of wands having a, a side piece, so to speak. Or trying to juggle more than one woman. Right. Or trying to juggle more than one man. What's being revealed is the truth. Or what's what's happening is person B wants to come with the truth. And the truth is, is that they want to reconcile with somebody. But we got three people here. So I feel like person B is fighting or on the fritz with both people. And they're trying to get them both back. Because person B, they're not being honest. Somebody's not being honest here. Somebody's lying. So we have the nine of pentacles for person B. The four of wands. The King of Wands is in reverse again here. We got the King of Wands showing up three times in this reading. Three different decks. We have the Three of Cups showing up again. Three of Cups here. We got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have the Nine. Okay, yeah, that's the, that's the original card, the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody is single. Four of Wands here. Um, they're happy being single. Then here comes this King of Wands in reverse energy. Talking about let's reconnect. But they don't want a commitment. So person B realizes that person A, per, person B cut person A off. Right? Because person B felt like they were being juggled. Or they knew they were being juggled. One or the other. They knew there was an imbalance so they wanted to step off. Alright? So. <laughs> now. Person, uh, person A wants to come back around, and they want to uh, start over. So you got one person here who was juggling two people or juggling a couple. I, I feel like it's only two people because we got the three of cups, the three of swords, and then another three of cups. So that's three people. So person B, I feel like was, uh, person A, I'm sorry, was juggling three people. Person B is like, look, I'm not, I'm not sticking around for this. I'm, I'm not doing that. You know, if you can't tell me that you're not dealing with this person anymore, then I don't want to be around. But see, the other person, they trying to have their cake and eat it too. That's what's going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the extent and find out what's going to happen. Are these two going to reconnect? And if they do, is there going to be, you know, is, uh, you know... The person who's doing wrong, are they going to tell the truth? Are they going to be like, look, I'm not with this person anymore and mean it? Or are they just telling them that just to get them back in their good graces? What I also feel like, too, is the person who was dealing with multiple people, I feel like they could be on the fritz with both people and they're trying to get both people back. I feel that energy as well. Yeah, I feel that energy as well. Because somebody definitely walked away with the Five of Cups and the Temperance energy in reverse. Yeah, Person A walked away. They walked away. But Person B here, they want to be, they really want to be single. Somebody wants to be single. Alright, for sure. So... So person A is like, look, I'm not happy in this situation. I feel like you're juggling me and someone else. If you're trying to come back into my life, you need to let me know what's going on. Are you dealing with someone else or not? So person A is standing their ground walking their way, walking away. Person B has got two people here, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords and the Queen and the uh, Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles could be somebody that they have been with for a long time. And they're tired of this person with the Ten of Wands. Like the relationship between this Queen of Pentacle energy and them. Whether this is a man or a woman. The relationship has taken its toll. Okay. Which is why Person B steps out 
with person A, with the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands energy, all right? But as far as um, person A is concerned, person A is this Queen of Swords energy here. And this person is like, yo, I'm not doing this third party shit with you anymore. And, um, you know, until you, um, you know, cut all that out, what you with with this, with this Queen of Pentacle energy, until you cut all that out, this is over. This is why person B is stressed. Because they can no longer have their cake and eat it too. Their time has come. They have to make a decision. And or person A is like, look, I don't care if you are not with them anymore. I don't even want to be with you anymore. Like you have me wait too long. It could be that too. But we're going to find out in the extended. So if this resonates with you, Cancer, or somebody that you know, feel free to click the like button and leave a comment about how it resonates if you'd like. Uh, if it didn't resonate, don't worry. Check your other placements. And I do post different types of readings. So if you're not feeling this type of reading, if you take a look at the screen as we close out, you'll see four different other readings that you can check on in reference to the Cancer Energy or the Water Sign Collective as a whole. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I do have promos going on. Check the community tab for the promos that I have going on. Or you can email me at 8thHouseEnergy at gmail.com. But to see a list of all the readings that I offer, the full pricing, it's in the box below. But to see whatever promotional rates I have going on, go to the, the uh, community tab. All right. So with that being said, the link to the extended is going to be in the box below as well. So grab that. Come on over to the extended. We're going to get a little bit more in detail and see what's going to happen between these two. Are they going to get back together? Is person um, is person A going to uh, rekindle things with person B? Is person B still dealing with two people? Are they just playing a game or do they want to be serious? We'll, we'll see what happens here, all right? So hopefully you'll follow me over. If not, I'll see you in the next reading, Cancer. Take care.